welcome to vlog six, I think. I think this is six. But good morning. It is Friday, January 20th, and I am really, really tired. I woke up kind of late. We're going to the gym right now. I was gonna wake up and eat something, but it's one of those days. Feeling a little sluggish, but about to take some pre-workout and we're gonna get going. We're gonna do shoulders and triceps, I believe. See you guys in the What is up guys? This is Nick back with the commentary on this workout. I'm loving this new gym. It is Super Future Fitness Connecticut. If you need a gym in Connecticut, go check it out. It's really awesome. I love going there. I'm going there tonight actually uh, after I record this voiceover and get this video up. But this workout kind of was in the morning. I woke up a little bit late, not feeling the best. Uh, but yeah, so we went straight to it and so we did chest, shoulders, and tricep day. And right here you're seeing a warm up. Uh, typically I do a 5 3 1 warm up for bench and squat. It's five reps of 135, three reps of 185, and one rep of 225. And that'll get you nice and warmed up for your sets and things like that. So I did four by four, and I wasn't trying to, to overload the weight really. I was kind of just, just kind of flowing with it. And uh, just doing this felt something I can control the weight with. Um, I'll probably start going up up in weight and maybe doing like three reps and maybe five sets um, next time I do chest and see how it feels uh, going a little heavier. Uh, bench has never really been one of my my strong points, but I'm definitely looking to increase my bench by a good amount in the coming months. So um, yeah, so that was that was good and I felt you know I was able to control, to control that weight pretty well. And then I moved on to dumbbell incline bench press, uh, which is right here, or incline chest press, uh, four sets of eight, and really, as you can see, exploding up and controlling the weight on the way down for two to three seconds, and you can really feel it. Um, I use the same weight on all four sets because once you get to the third or fourth set, you're very fatigued, and yeah, that's just how I've done it, and... Um, I still try to keep the reps looking good on the fourth set. I don't use as much weight as maybe I could if I was only doing one or two sets and maybe six to eight reps instead of eight completely good reps. Um, so I, I think I use 60, 65, something like that. Um, so yeah, so I mean, this is a this is a movement I love uh, including in my chest day. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, so then I moved on to a machine chest press. Uh, for four by ten reps, which is four sets of ten reps, which I typically do, and this is just kind of your average everyday chest machine um, that you've probably seen at your just regular regular gym, um, even commercial gyms. Almost every gym, even if it's small, has a machine like this, and I don't do it all the time, but um, it is good to mix it in every once in a while. And for this, I'm kind of just trying to focus to bring my elbows all the way back. And once again, controlling the weight is is big in my opinion. Uh, slowing the weight down and exploding up, and yeah, then you can get a good workout from it. So the next thing I did was I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I know it's a plate load chest press machine, and yeah, so I forget the exact name of it. But uh, I really like this this as well. Um, you can really feel it and this was towards the end of my chest the chest portion of my workout so i can definitely definitely feel this um i did three sets of 10 on this um, because i got fatigued towards the end or my chest was fatigued towards the end and yeah so typically i work um up to about two plates on each side i can do more if i'm not trying to do as many reps but i'm trying to keep the reps up right now for exercises like this so as you can see yeah I failed on the last rep and yep so moving on I did a little bit of shoulders I uh, had a, a little time constraint so I was kind of moving at a little quicker pace but I did four sets of 10 reps of seated dumbbell lateral raises once again this is like one of my go-to shoulder exercises 
Um, I mean, even in the first set, you'll you'll feel this even after six reps, and you kind of got, got to just grind out the reps, trying to keep them as controlled as possible, but you know not swaying too much. Otherwise, you're going to get too much help from from the rest of your body. Um, trying to control it up and on the way down is uh, the best for for this exercise, and you will really feel it in your shoulders. I'm using I think only 20 pounds right now, and yeah, my shoulder, my uh, my chest and shoulders were fried, so I wasn't going to use any more. I moved on to the tricep portion of the workout, which I did two exercises. I did the standing overhead French press. Um, like I've said in the past, this is another uh, movement that I like to incorporate in my triceps. I can just feel it uh, very well, and yeah, you just get a dumbbell. I think I was using 70s or 75s there. Make sure you're able to control the weight behind your head. Um, I probably could go up if I wanted to do less reps, but again, I did four sets of 10 reps on that as well. And then this one I do in almost every tricep workout, straight bar tricep push down, uh, four sets of 12 to 15 reps. I try to push the weight up as high as possible while still keeping my elbows locked in position and not moving and just having my forearms contract the muscle. So I really, really love this workout as well. I had a great workout. I'm running out of footage. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. It's a good one. There's a lot more good videos coming soon. Tomorrow, I'm going to be filming a full day of eating. So stay tuned for that coming in probably in the next week. And I'll see you guys soon. Whew. Another one in the books. Really good workout. So next time I should probably bring a gym bag. I have like eight things in my hand. It's currently 12.04. I have class at 12.20, but I have to go buy the book, so gotta go to the bookstore, then class in 16 minutes, so let's see if we can do this. Look at that, they're completely out of books, nice. What's up guys, so just had Latin class and kind of sucks to that, I didn't get the book, went all the way to the bookstore and they were out, so, but I just ordered it on Amazon, it just came out to like a brand new book, so hopefully it'll be here this weekend, so I'll have it for the next class, but yeah, probably going to go to the Union right now, go get some, go get a salad, something like that, so. Chicken, basmati rice, fat free, fat free cheese, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. What is up guys? After eating that salad, I took a nap. I was so tired. It's Friday, so don't really have a lot that I have to have to do. So, took a nap, but now I am ready to go. We gotta go do cardio. Um, yeah, I figured I'm gonna go do it now. It's about 8 o'clock p.m. Gym closes at 12, so. I've been trying to implement cardio probably maybe three times a week right now. What is up, guys? I just got back from doing cardio. A good 20 minutes on the treadmill. Uh, yeah, and it was, it was just, I was kind of struggling today. I woke up, I didn't wake up late, but I woke up like right before we were leaving to work out. I was kind of sluggish. I got a good lift in, and then I went to class, did a few things, took a nap, and then the cardio, it's just tough, you know, just grinding through it. Yeah, I mean, I've been eating, I'm gonna eat healthy. I'm gonna do a video, I think next video, I'm gonna do uh, more about eating and things like that, what what I'm eating, just on a day-to-day -day basis, um, things I get at the store. Uh, I'm trying to crank out as many videos as I can for you guys. Uh, I've, I've had three videos this week already. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys following along and 
and supported me. So with that, I'm going to take a shower, I might watch a movie or something, and then probably get some sleep because I haven't been sleeping much because I've been busy. If this is the end of the video, then thank you so much for watching. Please check out my Instagram right here, Football to Fitness, and please subscribe for more good stuff coming. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.